Here we go again. How was your guys' month? Mine wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Nothing really exciting about it. But you know what? When you're saving for retirement, is there anything really exciting about it? Especially when you get to retirement, when it's all about preservation of capital. Sure, if you have a great month, awesome, right? You just don't want one of those big down months. Now, sometimes it can happen, right? Obviously, when I first retired in August of 2021, by January of next year, sequence of return risk, bam, killed me for about a year, year and a half. So sometimes you can't help it. But otherwise, you just want to preserve your capital. That's what it's all about. You've won the race, guys. You won the race. So here we go. For those of you first time seeing me, my name is Dwayne, and this is a retirement channel for people on moderate income. If you think you might like that, think about subscribing and liking it. If you really, really like the video down here, you can buy me a coffee and my honey. Well, she likes she likes this espresso. She's a little more she-she. Here you go. So, when I retired back in August of 2021, I was at 323,000 on this 401k, 150,000. 75000 for a total of $548,000 in my nest egg. My worst month, January of 2023. Oh my God, you know what I was hearing then? Storm clouds, baby, storm clouds. And that stayed like that for a while. That was kind of a weird way for the thunder to cut out, wasn't it? Where's the storm? That was my worst month. Look at the difference there. 269, 323, 116, 150, 53, 75, 438,000. You know what? I forgot to write down how much I was down then. Here it was negative 17% from when I retired. Here it was all the way down to a negative 22% in that IRA from when I retired. Look at that difference, $110,000 in a, about a year, a little less than a year and a half. That was a scary time, very scary. But as I've always said on this channel, guys, stick to your guns. Don't panic. Don't panic when you hear the, get those storm clouds. Should I do the storm thing again? Should I do it again? Don't panic. Okay, more abrupt ending that time, I like that. Don't panic. There's no reason to go to all cash, right? No reason at all. I know some people that have done that. Three of them actually. Didn't turn out too good. So where was I last month? May, 316,000 in this 401k. Only 2% down from when I retired. 144,000 in that IRA, which used to be when I retired a 401k, only 4% down, not bad. Cash, 39000 for a total of $499,000. Not too bad, right? From when I retired, I'd made up a lot of ground. A lot of ground. And for those of you seeing me for the first time, I usually take about $1,000 out of my cash a month. And I live on that plus my YouTube earnings for the month. That takes care of all my expenses. And again, I'll say it again and again and again because it's very important. When you retire on moderate income, yeah, if I wasn't getting this YouTube money, I'd still be okay. I would. I've calculated it out. I'd be fine. But if you're bringing in additional money when you're retired on moderate income, it just makes everything go, ah, peace of mind. You can sleep so much easier. When you have part-time job, side hustle, whatever cool phrase you want to call it, if you're bringing in more money and you are on a moderate income retirement, it just helps you sleep at night, right? I haven't had to touch my retirement savings since 2022 because of the additional income I'm bringing in and the cash reserve I have on hand. All through 2023, didn't have to dip into my 401k or my IRA. So far in 2024, same thing. I'm hoping, you never know with YouTube, it goes up and down. I'm hoping for the rest of 2024, it'll hold to that. 
where I don't have to dip into my retirement accounts. You know, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to just have that go down to zero. When it does, my strategy, let me tell you my wacky strategy here for retirement. When this gets down significant amount, let's hope it, let's hope it can stay to about taking $1,000 out a month of that. Hey, it could go the other way. If my YouTube earnings go up, that might sit still, or it could go you know, the neg negative way. If my earnings fall down, I might have to take more out of that. If this gets down significantly, let's say, I don't know, $15,000 left in that. Here's the decision. And you guys, leave me comments on this. What would you do in this decision? Would you take money out of your retirement savings and put it into cash? Or would you start Social Security at that time? Leave me your comments. I'm really curious to know what you do. Okay, so what were my numbers last month? What? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I waited a little longer this time to get to the numbers. I'm sorry. I was just spewing out information. Is that okay with you? She says she doesn't spew information. She just sings. Well, la -ti da Okay, so in one, I was here. The other one, I was here, cash, here, for a grand total of, ba 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 boom Not a bad month, guys. Not a bad month at all. Look at this. May, 316,000. June, I'm up to 320,000. 144, up to 145. Obviously, I took out $1,000 to live on. For a grand total of $503,000 compared to five forty-eight dollars when I retired, it's, it keeps going up. It keeps going up back to where I started when I retired. If I can get back to five forty-eight, I can't ask for much more than that. After sequence of returns killed me. So what are the percentages now? This one I am down 1% from when I retired. This one I am down... 3% from when I retired. That's not a bad place to be. So for the month as a whole, I went up a little bit. Hey, as long as I'm going up, I don't care. You know, $1,000 up in my total, great. 5,000, great. Hey, if I go up 20,000 in a month, I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic or ecstatic? You know what I mean? I'm great. As long as I'm not going down, I'm doing good. So the YouTube numbers, again, I'm amazed. They're holding pretty steady. Thanks to all of you for watching my, my stuff that I put out here. You know, and again, all I'm doing on this channel is I'm showing you the perspective of someone who was already retired on moderate income. What things went well for me? What things did not go well for me as far as my decisions, as far as just life in general. You know, I like throwing out not just financial stuff. I mean, occasionally you'll see me put out this like, you know, something on Taylor Swift's music. And I know it didn't get very many views, but I like to mix it up sometimes. So, you know, here's another comment for you guys. Give, throw me out some comments on what you would like me to make a video of. I totally done that. I've done it two or three times in the past from your comments, making a video on it. So let me know, because I, I love exploring all kinds of different topics, not just financial retirement stuff. So let me know. So you too, how'd I do this month? Again, guys, continues to amaze me. Ba -ba -ba -boom. April, $2,100. May, $1,950. June, $2,150. Now, the, this number right here is still an estimate. What YouTube does is they will give you an estimated June number. Okay, I won't know the final number until I will get paid on July 21st for June. So it's usually, they're usually pretty accurate. So again, look at the consistency here and it's all down to you guys watching my videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this YouTube earnings. Not bad, right? Not bad. So I hope you guys had a good month. Um, hey, there was nothing to sexy about this month or June, excuse me. When am I going to do this? June, right. 
Okay, I'm fine now. Nothing too exciting about it, but I hope for most of you, you didn't go down. As long as you're going up, things are looking up, right? There you go, guys. There is my June wrap up. And as always, from me and my lovely honey here, who only sings, she never talks. She's lying. She talks, and sometimes you don't want to hear it. We got this.